video, I showed you how you can create a calendar table in Excel in Power BI. And after that, you saw how you can create uh, columns using column tool. So by um, adding a new column, then use DAX function year and month to get uh, new columns added. So here we use, we say the year will be is equals to the year, then pick the date from the date column, calendar date, and enter. Then um, also add another new column for the month using the month uh, DAX functions. But in this video, I want us to do it differently. Now we're going to uh, optimize our table by using uh, the add columns DAX expression. So let me first delete this. So I delete uh, this from model. And I'll have my original uh, date column. Now after that, I can add, use add column. Add columns. Like that. Then uh, use the year. So I'll state that the year will be the year column so here then use the date the calendar date so uh, date like that press enter you'll see now it will form a new column with the year then i can copy this down and use it for the month the quarter you see the month id the month id then this will be the month, the month like that. Uh, the next one will be the quarter. Then this will be quarter like that, the quarter. The next one I want the month name. So I'll type, paste like this, this is the month name. Month name now takes a new, uh, Custom, so I'll use format. Then the format I'm going to use is 4Ms to, to give me the full month. So it'll create for me the date, the year, the month ID, quarter, and then the full uh, month name. Um, another one I can use is the date. So I'll enter this. And then I want, uh, let's, let's first week, work with the week number. So the week number. I'll just use hash week number the week num <laughs> then the last one will be the day so I'm going to pick the day then this will be replaced with the day like that then of course just press enter it's going to give me everything that I need that is how to use the add columns DAX function in pub yeah.